Now, let's return to the Jubilee weekend and the person some say stole the show. No, not the Queen, but her great-grandson, Prince Louis. Now, pretty much every time William and Kate's youngest child popped up at the celebrations, he was either making faces, covering his ears, or even covering his mum's mouth. So we thought there's no better time to get in a parenting expert. I'm so delighted to say that. Joining us now as presenter of Channel 5's Toddlers Behaving Very Badly is Laura Amys. Uh, Laura, so good to have you. Watching at home, my teenage daughter Hi. said Louis gave her life. What did you make of his <laughs> antics over the weekend? I have to agree. I think I think he's just got the most fabulous character. And to be honest, I think parents everywhere, not just in England, will be breathing a sigh of relief watching him just being so normal, just a typical four-year-old. <laughs> what were your favourite you moments? Help, you um, I think I can't say that the hand over the mouth was my favourite moment, but just seeing his true character, I think he's clearly got a much stronger will and perhaps a little more gung-ho than his siblings and seeing that come through. I mean, can you imagine being so carefree that you've got no idea how many eyes are on you and that actually you're just going to express how you are feeling in that moment? It's a breath of fresh air. <laughs> well, you know, well, I think any parent out there would have definitely related uh, uh, to the Duchess of Cambridge. How do you think uh, she handled uh, Louis? Honestly, I think she did an incredible job. I think the pressure, I'm sure that even with all the practice she's had of being in the public eye, inside her heart rate would have been rising. She'd have been very worried that it, the behaviour was going to escalate. She'd have probably been trying to think two or three steps ahead, but that's really difficult in that moment. I think she did really well. She stayed calm. She tried to keep him, you know, involved and... She tried to stamp out any of the negative behaviours and thumbs up from me. <laughs> Honestly, I think she did really well. And we just showed a, a picture, uh, Laura, of, of Mike Tingle, uh, Prince Louis' uncle, just, you know, saying, look, I've got my eyes on you. If you just don't keep still, <laughs> don't behave, I'm watching. <laughs> didn't, didn't do anything, didn't make any difference at all. What is your advice, though, to parents out there who's caught out when their child starts playing up in public? Well, funnily enough, one of my first bits of advice when you're in a situation like that that feels quite stressful and you can see that your child is struggling to, you know, maintain composure is have an exit plan. Pick them up, take them out. So okay. that's not necessarily something that she was able to lean upon. So in those moments, I would which some people might be surprised I'm going to say this because I am generally quite no nonsense, but I don't think that that moment when you've got all eyes on you, it's a teachable moment. Yeah, we're not no, going indeed. to learn, you know, we're not going to learn about manners in that particular moment. I bet they have been talking about it all day <laughs> today. <laughs> but in that moment, it's just about trying to keep things calm, Laura, maybe distract them. Indeed. I think yeah. uh, Princess Kate did the right thing. Just let the boy be free. Let him live. Uh, Laura, Amy, so good talking to you. Thank you.